In this video, I'm going to show you how to code a simple game pass system for your Roblox game. I'm here in a new Roblox place and right away we're going to get started replicate the storage. We're going to add a folder and we're going to call this events and then we're going to make a module script and we're going to name this module script game pass data and you can put this module script anywhere. Just make sure it's in replicated storage. In game pass data, we're going to delete everything. I'm going to type return open bracket and then here's the game pass ID and that's going to equal the game pass name. So I have a copy and paste for me for an example for the video. So this is the ID and then this is the name of the game pass. After that, we're going to come over to server script service and we're going to add a script and we're going to name the script marketplace manager. And then in the starter GUI, we're going to add a screen GUI and then inside the screen GUI, we're going to make a folder and we're going to name the folder scripts we over this shop just to be in the game. This is pulled from the current game we're working on. So yeah, this will be the button. The buy button should be the na same name as the game pass. So this is path tracer, for example. In the script folder, we're going to want to add a local script and we're going to name the local script window helper. And then inside the window helper script, we need a module script and we're going to name this marketplace manager for the client. And now that we have our Explorer worked out, we're going to start coding with the server script first. So we're going to open marketplace manager and then we'll get started. So we want to define some services. So we're going to say local marketplace services equals game get service marketplace service. And then we want to define players game get service players. And then we want to define the replicated storage replicated storage equals game get service replicated storage we're going to need a remote event in the events folder so a remote event and we're going to name this purchase event and then in the server script we're going to want to define that so local purchase event equals replicated storage dot events dot purchase event and then one last thing is we're going to want to reference the game pass data module script so we're going to say local game pass data equals require and this is going to be replicated storage dot game pass data and there we go what we're going to code first is the prompt game pass purchase fit finished. This is the only thing we'll need on the server side. So we're going to say marketplace service dot prompt game pass purchase finished connect function. And then this is going to give us the player and it's going to give us the pass ID. And then it's going to give us a Boolean of was purchase. And you can see that up here. And then when we're done with that, we want to push enter and there we go. This is all we're going to need. Now we're going to say if player and game pass data pass ID, then local pass name equals game pass data pass ID. And then we're going to check if it's purchased. So if was purchased, then in this case, we're just going to print for the video sake. We're going to say player dot name success successfully purchase and then I'm going to have the game pass name. This will tell us when they successfully purchase and then we can have an else statement that basically does the opposite. So I can copy this, paste it right here and um, we can say canceled the purchase of the purchase of the pass name. And then after both of these regardless we're going to want to fire the purchase event. So purchase event fire client and we're going to fire the player and then we're going to fire the pass name and then this is we're going to fire if they purchased it or not. So the was purchased and then there you go. That's the server script done. Now that we have the server side done, let's get started on the local side. So in window helper, we're going to get the players. We're going to say local players equals game, get service players. We're going to get the replicated storage in here as well. Replicated storage equals game, get service, replicated storage. We're going to get the local player. So local, local player, the players dot local player. We're going to get the player GUI. So player GUI equals local player dot player GUI. I'm going to say GUI equals player GUI. Player GUI, I'm going to wait for child screen GUI. And here I'm also going to define the the purchase event. So purchase event equals replicated storage dot events dot purchase event. And then I like to wait one second in this local script just because I like of how I initialize stuff. So I'm gonna say local marketplace marketplace manager equals require script dot marketplace manager. And then we're gonna define a, a type of button or a function to initialize the Robux button. So in initialize Robux and this is the button we're gonna get. I'm gonna say button dot mouse button one click and then we're gonna connect this to a function. And in this function we're going to say print local player dot name is trying to purchase and then we're going to say button dot parent dot name and then we can say marketplace manager and we'll make we'll build this out in a minute prompt purchase button dot parent dot name now we have the initialize function for our specific Robux button. So we want to make sure this is called on load. So we're going to define our button. So button action, just like our other, my other videos, button actions. And we're going to say Robux button equals this comma. That's it. And then we're going to loop through all the descendants of the GUI. So four underscore comma descendant in pairs, GUI, get descendants. And then we're going to want to do if descendant is a GUI button, then we're going to say for tag comma action 
in pairs, but in actions do. If descended has the same tag as tag, so if it has this tag, then we're going to want to action the descendant. And action is gonna be this, which is this function. And then we want one more line of code here. We want purchase event, the on client event. And we're going to connect this to a function. And in this function, it's going to give us the game pass name and the was purchased. And then in this on client event, we're going to say if was purchased, then print. And I'm going to say local player dot name has successfully purchased the game pass. And the game pass is going to be game pass name. That's this local script done. Now we're going to move into the module script. Now in the module script, we can go ahead and change this to marketplace manager copy down that here and then we want to define some services again so local players good game good service players and then we want marketplace service equals game good service marketplace service and we want replicate storage and then we'll go local player we also want to require the game pass data so replicated storage dot game pass event data dot game pass data that's all we need to define for this script and then the first function we're going to do make is a reverse lookup so we're going to say local function get game pass id by name and the name and then we're going to say for id comma pass name and pairs game pass data do if pass name is equal to name, then we're going to return the ID. And then if it finds nothing outside this for, we're going to return nil. So if it doesn't find a game pass, it'll return nil. The next function we want function marketplace data marketplace manager dot prompt purchase game pass name. And this is going to be the string we pass through. So this function is going to prompt the purchase for the game pass. I'm going to say local pass ID equals get game pass ID by name and then game pass name is what we're going to pass through. And we say if not pass ID, then we're going to, we can send a warn um, invalid game pass. And then we can say the name of the game pass if we want. So game pass name. And we can say to string just in case something other than a string gets passed through here. And then out after the warn, we can return. And then down here, I'm going to say local has pass equal to false by default. And then this is how we're going to check. We're going to do a success, local success comma message equals P call and then we're gonna go function and then in this function we're gonna say has pass equals marketplace service user owns game pass async local player dot user ID and then we're gonna send the pass ID and this is a Roblox function built in we just have to send the user ID and then the pot the pass ID <clears throat> and then outside of this end statement we're gonna say if not success so if that fail P call function fails then we're gonna warn here an error while checking if has pass if the player has the pass and then again to string the message so we can see that error message and we want to return there and then one more we want to say if if has pass then we want to print that uh, local player dot name already owns the game pass name and then we can put an else in here and say else marketplace service prompt game pass purchase and we're going to prompt the local player and with the pass id so if they don't have it then we prompt and if they do have it we're not going to prompt and we'll just put out a print for now now i'm pretty sure here we can push play and if i try and purchase it it says gray bay is trying to purchase patch racer gray bay already owns patch racer so in theory this should be working and we can test it to make sure it actually prompts by going back into the module script if we copy this right here and put it in has pass and push play it'll tell me it'll prompt but it'll fail because i already own the game pass you already own this item your account has not been charged so yeah it's correctly identifying the game pass we want which is path tracer and uh, once again to add more game passes what you're going to want to do is come into game pass data and just add a new game pass id the id goes here the number and then the name of the game pass goes right here and that's how you add a new one into the system to create a new game pass you want to come to the place link you want to click on it and then you want to go to monetization passes and you can create a pass here so after you create a pass it should show up here with the image and the name and then you want to make sure you come in here go to sales ensure it's on and has a price otherwise no one will be able to buy it so you have to ensure the item is for sale then you want to copy asset id and come into the game pass data and you copy that id into here and then the name and look at that it's the same as the one up here. Yeah, now I'm gonna give it to my brother and he's going to attempt to purchase it and we'll see what it says for him. Now we can see him purchasing it. He's gonna purchase it and it says he successfully purchased it. And if we look in the output, we can see it. And now he's gonna cancel it. And if we look in the output, we can see that it was canceled. So our system seems to be working just as intended. So yeah, that's all for this video. I hope it helped. This is actually the same system that I put in my game. If we come to the shop, Path Tracer, and I click it, nothing happens because I already own it, but we'll see here. It says I'm trying to purchase the Path Tracer, but I already own it. And in this game, the Path Tracer so it traces the path out, and then it stays there for me because I have the game pass. So it's a lot easier for me to just follow the path and uh, look at that, super easy to complete it. So yeah. 
thanks for watching. If I helped you, please consider subscribing. Give the video a like. And leave a comment on what I should do next. See you.